So today we are going to do the back exercise of microorganisms friend and foe. Let's start. Fill in the blanks. A. Microorganisms can be seen with the help of a microscope. Blue green algae fix dash directly from the air and enhance the fertility of the soil. So the dash the answer is nitrogen. C. Alcohol is produced with the help of dash. Answer is yeast. D. Cholera is caused by dash. Bacteria and the name of the bacteria is vibro cholera. Right? Now the second question. Take the correct answer. A. Yeast is used in the production of first sugar, second alcohol, third hydrochloric acid or fourth oxygen. So the correct answer is second alcohol. B. The following is an antibiotic. So first one is sodium bicarbonate, second is streptomycin, third is alcohol and fourth is yeast. So the correct answer is two, streptomycin. C. Carrier of malaria causing protozoan is first female anopheles mosquito, two cockroach, three housefly, four butterfly. So the correct answer is female anopheles mosquito, first option. D. The most common carrier of communicable diseases is first one is ant, second is housefly, third is dragonfly, and fourth is spider. So the correct answer is second one, housefly. Now E. The bread or idli dough rises because of first heat, second grinding, third growth of yeast cells, and fourth is netting. So the correct answer will be growth of yeast cells. So by the, by the growth of yeast cells, the bread or idli dough rises. Then F. The process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is called first nitrogen fixation, second molding, third fermentation, fourth infection. So the correct answer is fermentation third. Now third question. Match the organisms in column A with the action in column B. Okay. So first one. See children here I have written the answers as well. So you can cross check them. So first is bacteria. So the bacteria the correct answer is causing cholera. Cholera's causative microorganism is bacteria. The second one, rhizobium. Rhizobium helps in fixing nitrogen. Third, lactobacillus. Lactobacillus helps in the setting up of curd. Fourth, yeast. Yeast is used in the baking of bread. Then a protozoan. Protozoan is the causative microorganism for malaria. Then a virus. So virus, correct answer is causing AIDS. Here I have mistakenly written the seventh option this will be sixth option okay this will be sixth option okay now next question fourth can microorganisms be seen with the naked eye if not how they can be seen so as we all know that microorganisms are so small that they are so small so tiny that they cannot be seen with the help of an unaided eye right so microorganisms cannot be seen by the naked eye because they are very very small and tiny they can be only seen by using a microscope or in some cases a magnifying glass, right? So question 5. What are the major groups of microorganisms? So there are four major groups of microorganisms which are bacteria, fungi, protozoan and algae. But along with it, we will also say virus. Viruses are also microscopic but they are different from these above mentioned microorganisms from these four major groups of microorganisms which we have mentioned here which we have mentioned here, okay? Now six. Name the microorganisms which can fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. So the correct answer is rhizobium can fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. Seventh one. Write ten lines on the usefulness of microorganisms in our lives. So for ten lines you can write as many points you want, right? So I have written here six points, okay? So let's read first one. Microorganisms are used in the preparation of curd, bread and cake. Second, microorganisms are used for the large scale production of alcohol, wine and acetic acid. Then third, microorganisms are used in the preparation of antibiotics. Fourth, the plant waste that has been converted into manure by the action of microbes. It also helps in the cleaning of the environment. So microorganisms also help in the cleaning up of the environment. Then fifth, some bacteria are able to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to enrich soil with nitrogen and increase its fertility. Sixth one, microorganisms are used to create vaccines that help us protect against the disease. Right? Now, eighth question. Write a short paragraph on the harmful effects of microorganisms. So, answer will be, microorganisms cause diseases in plants and animals. For example, 
Cholera in humans is caused by bacteria called vibrocholera. In animals, the virus causes foot and mouth diseases. Microorganisms also spoil food by decomposing the food material. Some microorganisms spoil leather and clothes. Some microorganisms are also responsible for food poisoning. So, when the microorganisms are useful in many ways, which we have discussed in the above question and seventh question, however, they are also very harmful in some cases, right? So, these cases are, we have already studied these here in this eighth question, okay? So, if you want, you can also give them points like this will be first point, okay? Then this will be the second point, the animal one. Then this will be the third point. This can be the third point. And this can be the fourth point. And this can be the fifth point, okay? So these are five points. Now, ninth question. What are antibiotics and what precautions must be taken while taking antibiotics? So the antibiotics, what are antibiotics? Let's, let's know first. So, the medicines that kill or stop the growth of the disease causing microorganisms are called antibiotics. And what all precautions we can take? First one, antibiotics should be taken only on the advice of a qualified doctor. Then second one, one must complete the course prescribed by the doctor. Okay. So, here we come to the end of this back exercise. Thank you.